What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a guide for you for King Bounties 2 on how to complete the Moraine section of the Scryer's Trials. These are hard fights, this will not be a copy and paste solution, you'll not be able to copy my moves exactly because the AI may react differently even if you do the same thing. Hopefully however we'll be able to give you enough tips and tricks that you'll be able to survive the fight yourself. These are all very hard so don't go in thinking this is going to be easy but here we go. The main threats for your army in this fight are the archers on the right hand side and the zombie guys right at the back. The big guys aren't too much of an issue and the two packs of dogs will pretty much suicide themselves into your ghosts. So you don't have to worry too much about those. You do need to try and make sure that your archers are distracted. If they start ripping apart your ghosts you lose your fight. They are the backbone of this entire team. Without them you'll not be able to do anything. You want to try and focus down the two packs of hounds first if you can. I got an extra proc here. I did redo this without the extra proc and the result was very similar. So you shouldn't need that to survive the fight. But obviously the extra procs do help. This is what makes these fights so difficult to guide because there is so much randomness involved. You know, the odd critical hit can take three units out and that's it. Um, if you're not aware of the core of the combat mechanics, because this one can be available quite early, make sure you look at the flags at the start of each fight so you can see what initiative order people have. And you want to make sure you check their speed by highlighting the character and pressing Y on PC so you can see how many moves they can make, whether they can get to your person or not. Now I've left the ghouls over to the far right. They're pretty much there as a sacrificial lamb. The archers will target those instead of the ghosts. I weren't sure if that little cart was going to be enough for line of sight, so those ghouls will take a pounding, but that is what it is. You've got a few hidden tricks up your sleeves in this fight with the spells that you have available. They're not spells normally available to your character because obviously you're playing a different character. Um, all of these Scryer trials are very much the same. It's almost like a chess game. You have to figure out what the correct order of moves and the correct order of dispatching your opponents is in order to make your team the most effective possible. I am far from an expert on the combat. This one probably took me two or three hours of constant trying. I was getting destroyed over and over again. It took me a while, but I got there in the end. So the idea is you want to get the giant guys and the zombies to be within attacking distance of each other so that when you use the doubt spell, not the doubt spell, sorry, the madness spell, they will go and fight. Because the zombies... Despite being zombies, they hit incredibly hard. So if you don't take their numbers down, you will lose the fight. Now you have to remember that the number of uh, the number of damage that a unit does is based per unit. So if you've got five guys in a unit and you take out three of them, you're, you're reducing their damage by over 50%. So it's not always a matter of just wiping the unit out. You want to minimize the amount of damage you can do by lowering the numbers. So I cast the... the you want to cast the spell on the zombies at the right time. Because right now they're not quite close enough. The big guys can only move two, I don't think. So we'll have to, we might give it a shot here. So you cast the madness on the zombies. I didn't want the big guys to go first in case they ran the other way because the AI does do crazy stuff. These are straight away there, the big guys have taken out three, so that's over half of the damage of those zombies gone, and they are the heaviest hitters in the whole group. They will really decimate your team really fast if you don't take care of them. So you want disease on the everyone you can. This drops the damage they do and makes them more susceptible to your damage. And then it's just a matter of piling in and hoping you get the good hits on the ghouls. The archers are still a very big problem, but the ghosts have a teleport skill that can jump up there, which should make it a relatively easy solution. It's still a very close fight, as you'll see at the end, but hopefully you've got some basic info here that might help you out. I'm sure the average player is probably better at the combat than me, so it should be too much for a problem. The archers, once you get into melee, they're not a huge threat, to be totally honest, so they're not too bad. You want to save the, the ghost screen to get the maximum amount of use out of it as possible. Of 
that's why the big guys are dangerous. They will stun as well as damage, and stun stops you counteracting, counterattacking when you're attacked. So it makes every exchange with that particular unit completely beneficial to the other unit. So I screamed a little bit early there, but I wanted to make sure I got rid of those little guys because that, that ghoul's going to struggle now. This is where once you've got a couple units engaged with the big guys, as you can see, the ghouls, can, they can take them down pretty good. They do a lot of damage. They'll take a pound in two, but they'll take them down. Then it's just a matter of whittling down the archers with the ghosts. As I said before, like any crit here could end my journey straight away. It's, it, there is a lot of RNG involved in these fights. They are very difficult fights. But you do get some pretty cool legendary items from them, so they are worth it. Have a lucky prop there. So you don't have to finish off the, the, the archers again. I've just, I think it was a 10 man unit, so I've just reduced their damage by about 80%. You know, this is a doesn't explain it greatly in the game, but you have every unit damage is based per unit. So wiping one out is good, but if you can just take a couple out or half it, it makes a massive difference, especially when you start piling on the spells as well. So the two archers left, they're a no brainer. They're not going to do any harm to anybody other than that one goal. Uh, then it's just a matter of hoping you get lucky. Again, a crit here could end it for me very, very easily. So as I said, this isn't going to make it easy for you. But hopefully it'll provide some tips. If you're better than me, which I'm sure many of you are, and you've found a much easier way, do leave some comments to help some people out. There you go guys, I hope we helped you out a little bit here. We've got some more Scryer's Trials coming, so make sure you check the channel later today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.